The ongoing drought and early fire season makes it clear that New Mexico is in need of water. Part of our supply comes from the Rocky Mountains, moves into the Rio Grande Basin. Scarlett Lizjack looked at an ongoing project that New Mexico helped fund to squeeze the most water out of Colorado. Weather modification. Sounds like the stuff in sci-fi movies, but the general manager at Southwestern Water Conservation District, Steve Wolf, says it's anything but fiction. Cloud seeding has been worked on since I think the late 40s. So, and there's been lots of small studies that have been going on. Two large studies that were done, one in Wyoming at the beginning of the century, one in Idaho, really documented that cloud seeding works. It works by making the most out of a storm. Inserting silver iodide into the atmosphere, into those storm events, into the clouds, and that silver iodide helps increase the formation of ice crystals. And that helps make it rain. In fact, Wolf says it has the potential to squeeze 5 to 15 percent more water out of storms. More water into the streams, more water into the reservoir, just more water available for all of us to be using. And as, as you know, given the current drought, we've, the long-term drought we've been in, um, we're always looking for ways to come up with more water supply. And seeding clouds is becoming more of a resource in the drought-stricken West. I think we'll see more funds go to it. I think more people will look at it as a, as a serious effort. Again, looking at the, the price of per acre foot of water, it's a lot cheaper than building a new dam or doing other things that we typically think of when we're thinking of increasing water supplies. The next cloud seeding will start again this winter when storms are more frequent. Scarlett Jack, KOB4.